weapons for the battlefield one community. A long time ago there were discussions and suggestions made to the developers at DICE for the upcoming DLC They Shall Not Pass about new weapons to add into the Battlefield game. We got the new weapons and we saw a couple of awesome guns like the Ribrolet Assault Rifle, the Shosha LMG, the RSC Semi-Automatic and the 1886 Lebel Rifle. French guns used by the French army during the war and it was a suitable addition since we got to see the French army, some new maps totally focused on the battles between the French army and the Germans and together with that we got to see some new gadgets to, or gadgets, it wasn't really gadgets, it was a new and elite class, the Trench Raider elite class together with the Char 2 giant super tank behemoth and the Shomon assault tank. In my view, that was a great addition to the already packed game that made its debut in October last year. And since we saw the game released in October, over 19 million players have turned up on servers throughout the world. And if you ask me, we will see more coming to the game in the nearby future. Hopefully, we can reach some kind of a record for the Battlefield community. By the numbers, these figures have already broken the line that was made for the Battlefield 4 community that had less than 19 million players. Something that did make me think the other day was the discussion that many players had with the community during the time of the DLC pack They Shall Not Pass. And it was adding the prototype for the Thompson submachine gun, which was developed in 1917 and produced as a prototype during 1918. The result, the M1918 Persuader, with a 20 round, 20 round 45 ACP magazine that could be fired in a very high automatic measure. However, the war came to an end before these guns made it to the battlefield in time, but that would not be something that DICE had to be worried about. With the game launch in October, we saw a rifle, or an SMG rather, rather be that didn't make it to the battlefield as well. It was a Hell Regal SMG, a level 10 weapon for those who remember. And together with the spring update, we also saw a defensive version of that game, of that gun. And that gun never made it to the battlefield, but Battlefield and DICE uh, decided that that gun would be made into the game for, I guess it was to make some kind of an effort to make uh, the game sparkle a little bit. And I can agree with you when I say that gun has its place within the game. And I'm still working on locking up the defensive version and I can't wait to get my hands on it. In addition to this suitable SMG, there is some other weapons that seems to be left out from DICE during the progress and the process to make this game. Talking about such a thing like the Bangalore Torpedo that could be an addition to the support class. Uh, it was developed in 1912 and used during the World War I era. Uh, it was uh, something that the troops learned to use uh, to clear out barbed wire and other obstacles in the battlefield. And it was developed by the British, so I wouldn't be surprised if we got to see this in the game within the future. Hopefully DICE will put it in with the upcoming uh, update or in uh, an update after that. A weapon that also made it through a lot of community talks was the American M1917 Enfield rifle, not to be confused with the British SMLE Mark III rifle that we already see within the game. One thing that also came to me was the fact and lack of weapons from the Americans from the Wild West era. We do have the number three revolver, a very similar, if not a copy, to the Schofield revolver. revolver used by many legends of the Wild West. If you ask me, putting a weapon like the Colt 45 Peacemaker out there on the game, it would be a proper badass on the battlefield. Also, I would like to see the Colt 38 Service Revolver, something that was used by a lot of officers before the M1911 Colt uh, semiotic pistol was introduced to the military, and it's a gun that was used a lot by the American police. It was a gun that was used during that time and it would be uh, no problem of putting this into the game. It fits into the profile and it's a very cool revolver as well. DICE is making good progress and with the upcoming patches and updates for every month this should be a possible thing to see. 
new guns with the American troops and a full-out American focus on a weapon update, it wouldn't be impossible. But since we got the new DLC in the name with the, uh, in the name of the Tsar, uh, the Russian weapons will probably have focus for the upcoming uh, updates and the DLC packs that will be delivered sometime in late summer. However, we saw the new guns uh, to the uh, four different types of classes. Now these guns were a good addition to the guns already put into the game and making these updates and putting in new American guns and weapons it would be very nice and a very nice attachment put a little sunshine and put a little bit of color on this game uh, as good as it, as it is already. What do you think about it? Please leave a comment down below and share with all the Battlefield fans throughout the community and let's make it all the way up to the DICE developers and I will be making more video videos and they will be coming out on the channel within the nearby future. But until next time, I will see you on the battlefield. My name is Mr. Steel. Take care.